What's going on, y'all? So, <laughs> just have a real moment with you real quick. Y'all have no idea the rabbit hole that I go down when it comes to customizing my Android phones. But thankfully, I have found, you know, a setup that I'm happy with. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about my setup on my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra from the wallpaper, the icon pack, even some of the settings that I made to the phone to kind of further customize my experience. But most things that I'm talking about can be found down below in the description box, but let's get into it. So I do have the always on display enabled, but as far as my lock screen is concerned, I don't really have any customizations there other than um, this wallpaper, which I absolutely love. I got this from one of my favorite wallpaper application apps called Wally. So on my home screen, I do have Nova Launcher, the pro version running up here. I did try to use Samsung's launcher. It's not terrible. I just really missed, you know, being able to customize my icons. If I could do that on Samsung's launcher, I probably wouldn't even need this. So for the widgets that you see on my home screen, I am using KWG Custom Widget Pro. And the widget pack that I'm using for my clock here is known as Outline. And the one beneath that is known as Instinct. Now, I did customize this particular widget pack here because it contains some other things in it that I didn't want. And then beneath that, I have my icon pack, which is known as Nexa icon pack. So if you're curious about some of the changes that I made within Nova Launcher, let's, let's talk about that real quick. Now, I did lock my home screen because I kept like deleting stuff by accident. So let me just uh, turn that off real quick. So these are some of the settings that I had for the home screen, such as the desktop grid. And then in terms of my icon uh, look, I did, you know, make the icons larger, turn off the labels. You also notice that I hid the navigation bar at the top of the screen. I hid my dock, so I don't have that down there. And I do have it set up so that if I swipe up, it pulls up my app drawer. And then I customized the background in this to be black. I also enabled some gestures on my icons. So for example, if I swipe up on my camera app here, it'll go ahead and launch my gallery. I was taking some sample photos there. And then the other gesture that I enable is for this folder here so that if I swipe up, it instantly launches Instagram. And if you're not following me up there, you can go ahead and feel free to do so. T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. But if I just tap on it, you know, it's just gonna open up my social related apps. Another adjustment that I made is for my widgets to overlap as well as my apps to be over, <laughs> as well as my apps to be able to overlap my widgets. Now, I'm probably one of a very small few, but I don't hate Bixby. So currently my side key is set to summon it. <laughs> now, maybe as I continue to use it, that could change because I am testing it out, but I will say my experience with it in the past, I don't, I don't hate it. Something else I have installed is volume styles. That lets me easily adjust my volume levels across, you know, my media, ringtones, alarms, and all of that. Now, the cool thing about it is that you can customize the look of it. They have so many uh, different themes that you can use. It's definitely worth downloading and it's free, but I like it for its convenience and also for its appearance. Now, another adjustment that I made was to the vibration intensity. It was way too strong. So I did turn that down so that it was a little less powerful. Also turned off the vibration as well for the keyboard and system interactions because I don't like the feedback when I'm typing. I think because I use iPhones and it doesn't do it, I'm used to it not doing it, so I turned that off. I also enabled dark mode for my settings here. And to get a cleaner look, I did turn on swipe gestures. So yeah, that's most of the custom settings that I have made so far. But as far as my apps, I do have uh, my settings here. I also have Lightroom here so that I can easily uh, edit my photos as needed. I am using Apple Music up here. Um, that is currently my music service of choice. Next to that, I have my gallery icon, phone. As far as my mail client, I like Spark. I like the customization options that you have it from being able to get reminders about your emails to snoozing emails, custom signatures per email account. It even has something known as a smart inbox so that it can kind of filter your inbox in a way that makes it easier to navigate through your tons of emails. Then I have, you know, just the default camera app, Microsoft OneNote. That app has been a lifesaver. So as for me, I use iOS and Android and the issue that I was running into was having something to kind of like serve as a notebook 
between the two platforms. So I discovered Microsoft OneNote. You kind of look at it like your five-star notebook that has dividers in there. So for example, I have my notebook here and these are the different air quote dividers that I have and inside of those. So, you know, I got like my shopping divider here and then those are the pages behind that. And you can add voice memos, text, checklists. You can even embed videos in there. It's just like so much that you can do, but it's not confusing. Highly recommend it. And the beautiful thing about it is it's free. And then beneath that, you know, I have my YouTube studio so that I can go in and check my analytics and chat with all of you. So feel free to comment any apps that you think I should check out because, you know, I do hop in there so that we can have some conversation. Um, and then next to that, I have my Google Play Store, YouTube, and Messages. Now on my second page, I have this widget that I don't remember the name of, but I'm gonna annotate it in the video what it is. But this lets you quickly access Google search here. Um, and you can tap down here at the bottom to, ooh, what I was trying to do was tap down here at the bottom so that you can then pull up Google Assistant. On the second page here, I have some more apps that I want quick access to. This one is my wallpaper app. Like this is the type of app that I just get carried away on. Like I literally, I'm scared to almost look in here now because I just go down a serious rabbit hole of just looking at wallpapers. They have so many and they all look so good. You can break it down into categories. You can see the things that you recently looked at. You even have the search options so you can search for you know, some wallpapers that are more specific to what you're looking for. Then next to that, I have my calendar app calculator. Now this one, I did customize the look of this icon, but this is my favorite game of all time. Super simple, but super addictive. And it's known as Crowd City. So uh, basically you come in here and you navigate this little person to uh, collect people to join its team. So you wanna collect people that don't already have a color. And the object of the game is to get the most people on your team while staying away from these other people <laughs> who are also doing the same thing. So you wanna pay attention to the number because if they have a higher number and they get around you, they can basically take all of your people. So I wanna kinda just keep going around the city. The strategy in the game comes in when you start getting a high number and you're noticing you're near other people with lower numbers because then you wanna go and take their people. Yeah, I'm getting carried away on my head. Oh! Don't take all my people, no, 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 no. So I almost, you know, got wiped out in the game. I'm gonna just end it there. <laughs> but moving on, we have my social folder here. I have keep notes. Why is that in there? I gotta move that, anyway. And then I have Twitter. Uh, you can feel free to check me out up here. Um, then next to that, I have my home app. So this is what I use to control the smart tech within my house. Now I am using an app known as Appy Weather for my weather um, so that I can get the hourly forecast here, I can get the timeline, or I can see the daily forecast right here. And I like it because, you know, it gives me an ample amount of information without being cluttered. Um, what else? Then I have, you know, my files folder here, Spotify, um, Amazon. Why do I have light? I didn't know I had Lightroom twice. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> Moving on to my third page here. This is where I keep my calendar. So I'm using Month app, I think is what it's called. That's what I'm using for the widget up top here. And then beneath that, I think I'm just using the default calendar daily view. Now, in terms of my edge drawer, uh, I do have some things in here. I have Bixby routines. I'm gonna be getting more into that and actually doing a video on it, so stay tuned. So if you've been enjoying the video thus far and you're interested in that, definitely you know, hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, you can feel free to hit that like button as well. I also have a task edge, um, a calendar edge, and notifications edge, and then my apps that I want quick access to. But yeah, as far as my app draw, I'm not gonna dive into all of these apps, but I do wanna put you on a few that I really like. So one in particular is known as Share Doctor, and I like it because when you go to the share option here, it allows you to kind of clean up the view that you have when you're sharing you know, a particular item. But this lets you customize your view. You can actually hit these three dots, change the theme, you can toggle it so that it's a list instead of, you know, the grid here. And best of all, you know, if you got one in here that you know you're not gonna use like this, <laughs> 
You can always select to hide it so that you don't have to see it in the list of apps that you could use for sharing. You already know about my favorite wallpaper app, uh, but I will go ahead and open up my wallpapers folder. So these are some of the apps that I use for my wallpapers, but you know my favorite. Another must have app for me, especially in using an iPhone and an Android device is Smooth Sync. So I use Smooth Sync for my iCloud contacts to come over to my Android phone. And I also use it for my calendar events to come over from my iPhone as well. But yeah, I wanna say that's everything. I feel like I covered quite a bit. <laughs> But if you find that you have any questions about my setup that I didn't talk about, you can feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. I'ma let you know my app drawer kind of breeze through real quick as I'm speaking right now. I do hope you enjoy the video, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this one as always. Thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you.